Well, good morning. Welcome back. It's been a minute. Took a couple of weeks with uh, not doing much videos. Not that I haven't been busy at the bench, but I'm doing some uh, some diecast projects. Red vacation. You've seen that in the last video. So here we are with episode number six for model cars and coffee. So this week's episode, we're going to cover some diecast stuff. We went over some plastic model stuff on episode five. So episode six. I'm going to show you what I got uh, going on on the bench just over there behind the camera. And uh, let me get that turned around and we'll show you what's going on over there. So hang on. So here we are with the uh, messy but somewhat kind of organized workspace. <laughs> I got 16 different uh, diecast projects going at the same time here. Trying to do them all in the same stages as I go along. Eventually they're going to get broken up a little bit as I do details. But um Excuse the mess in the background there. That's some other laid out custom plastic model kits I'm working on. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, I figured I'd just show you some of this to show you some of the process that I go through to uh, customize a die cast car. So I have these plastic containers here that I picked up from, uh, from Walmart. These come from the uh, back to school section. They normally have them for like 80 cents around this time of year as kids are going back to school. As you can see, I need to get some more because I... Uh, have exceeded my limit of the plastic kits. So anyways, um, what I do is go ahead and get the car all drilled apart. I save one of these uh, containers and mark it with what the vehicle is in there. And I keep, that's where I keep all the bits. So there's all the components that go along with the Ranger, which is right here. So I keep everything nice and handy in one little case so nothing gets uh, misplaced, especially when you're doing this many. But uh, so all these that you see in white have already been paint stripped and uh, cleaned and prepped and I go through a process with a steel wheel a wire wheel and then I use these Brillo pad type things uh, that go in the, all go in the Dremel tool and there's different grits of these going from 80 grit 150 240 and 300 grit for sanding and it helps us uh, sand and polish the, uh, the metal casting and then I go ahead and I use this here this is a, a product from Mr. Hobby it's a Mr. Metal primer and what this is is just a clear primer that I put over the metal and what this does is it gives a barrier and helps the paint adhere to the metal better so not using this the paint will chip off of the die cast metal pretty easily and then I almost always use the Tamiya fine surface primer on everything I do and on the start of some of these models these two here this Dodge Dart from Hot Wheels and this Ford Ranger from uh, Johnny Lightning um, have been primed and then base coated in silver. This one here is going to be a bright red, so I'm going to do a color combination with these two spray bombs here. And this one, um, the Dodge Dart, is going to be pink. So we're going to go crazy pink and see uh, how that comes out. Kind of have a feeling that this one is going to end up back in the stripper. I'm not so sure if this is going to give me the look I want. But anyways, I have free range to do almost anything I want with most of, most of these. This hearse was black when I got it. It's uh, been requested to be maroon in color. So this is my base coat of maroon. I gotta, uh, This has been sitting now for only about 24 hours. So I'm going to go ahead and throw and wet sand this again. Or wet sand this for the first time. And get some of these blemishes out of there. We'll see what it looks like. Maybe another coat. Maybe not. And we'll be doing some airbrushing on some of these. And as I did not mention, none of these are for me. These are all for a, uh, a special request from a friend. So, uh, like I said, some of them have to be painted certain ways. Some of them I can do whatever I want with. This one here, this is an old Matchbox super fast van. I'm really kind of excited to dig into this and do some crazy customized painting to this thing. It's got some really cool body lines to it all through here. I'm not sure how well the camera picks that up, but. I'm going to try to have some fun with that one. But uh, yeah, so there we go. There's my progress on the bench for my episode six, Model Cars and Coffee. So thanks for hanging out here with me for another quick episode of Mike's Mising Customs. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.